on the way I, I, I see this, the Eagles have um, a top three that you're very happy with. The e- Eagles fans should be very happy with it. The Eagles should be very happy with it. And really, it gives Jalen Hurts no excuse, right? You can't say that they don't have the weapons around Jalen Hurts to adequately assess him. All right, mm-hmm. Jalen Hurts is going to succeed or fail on his own merit here. It's a, it's not going to be because the team didn't put the pieces around him. Okay, I'm glad you brought up Jalen Hurts because I've been saying since this deal was made, um, yes, there's more pressure now on Jalen Hurts to succeed. But we also have to keep in mind he's only been a, been a starter in the National Football League for one year. Luckily for him, finally, for the first time in like the last six, seven years, he's going to be in the same system for more than one year. We've heard all the stories about how he's working out in Southern California with these top quarterback gurus. Uh, he has a close relationship with A.J. Brown. Supposedly, they're like very close friends. Yeah. So how much leeway do we still give Jalen Hurts, although we expect him to improve significantly this season? Look, he's 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 the guy this year, right? He's going to have an opportunity. Um, and 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 to me, if you're a quarterback in this league, all yep. you could want is that opportunity, right? He, he he's if if you want to say that the the uh, deck is is I don't want to say stacked <clears throat> against him, but the Eagles are right. leaving the door open next season, right? He he doesn't have the uh, maybe the organizational support that. Trevor Lawrence or Justin Fields or a quarterback that's drafted in the top 10 would. I don't buy into that so much. He's going to have a chance this year. If he plays well, he'll be the quarterback. If he, if he doesn't make the necessary strides as a passer, um, then the Eagles have the, the draft capital next year to try and upgrade him um, or, or, or find an upgrade on him. But, but I think he's going to have a great chance this year, like you said, in the same scheme two years in a row uh, yeah. with upgraded players around him. Uh, he helped lead them to the playoffs last year, and he's going to have a chance to try to do it again this year. All right, all off season, Jeffrey Lurie, Howie Roseman, Sirianni have all said we're all in on Jalen Hurts for this year. Do you honestly believe um, they're, they're, they're all in with Jalen Hurts? I'm not going to say long term, but do you also think that maybe they're already, they've already determined what he is, and basically he is just – the quick fix answer until maybe 2023. When you looked at the landscape of potential free agent quarterbacks, we knew Russell Wilson wasn't coming here. We knew Aaron Rodgers wasn't coming here. The draft class was considered mediocre at best, and it panned out by the way the draft fell. And you look at how few quarterbacks went in the top rounds of the draft. Do you think they've already determined what Jalen Hurst is or isn't to this organization and to this offense? And basically he's just a quick fix until they can use some of that draft capital in 2023. Not necessarily. I, I wouldn't okay. frame it like that. Okay. I think they're going to be as, as, as loyal as their options, right? You know, if, if they were able to land Russell Wilson this off season um, or, you know, if the Deshaun Watson situation might've worked out differently, then maybe the Eagles have a, have a, a, a different starting quarterback. Right. Um, and then next off season, if, 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 there's a rookie that they feel they can get who, who they feel has a higher ceiling than Jalen Hurts, or if there's a veteran right. who they can trade for, who they feel is a better quarterback than Jalen Hurts, they'll be in position to do that. But I keep going back to this. Jalen Hurts has the opportunity to keep this job. You're, it's yep. not a foregone conclusion. And if you're a quarterback, all you could all all you should want is that opportunity. Um, I don't think they they've determined what they're going to do offseason. I'm sorry, next offseason. What they've done yeah. is is built the resources so if they do need to make a move, they're able to do it. I will say this also, and you're there uh, closer to the situation more so than I am, but if I were to pick a, a, a guy who I'd want to sit in my chair to play poker for me, it would be Jalen Hurts. You know, no matter what has been said, no matter – and you know he's heard a lot of the scuttlebutt in the media and from the fan base – I think he handles himself with a lot of poise and and maturity far beyond his years. And then everything you hear about Jalen Hurts from the outside in is that this kid can handle pressure. You know, that's a a lot to ask of a 24-year-old kid to come into a major market like Philadelphia, to be thrust under the microscope the way he was, to have a fan base indifferent about you throughout the course of a season and not let that get under your skin. I would say with Jalen Hurts, the intangibles are off the charts. 
everything you hear about him uh, as, as a person, as a leader, as a teammate, from my understanding, it's all true and more, right? He's, he's, he's everything you would want your quarterback to be, let's say, you know, Monday to Saturday, right? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And then, but, you know, he's a, he's a hard worker. He's a good teammate. He, he, he's, he, he's, he's built the right way. He needs to be more consistent as a passer. He needs to be more efficient as a passer. Uh, yeah. and, and, and I'm not breaking news there. And I, I can't speak for Jalen Hurts, but, uh, yeah. but like, you know, I, I, I imagine that, that he's, he's, he's seen the same situations that, that we have now context matters. Right. And, and there's, mm -hmm. you know, the players around you, um, the, the scheme, whatever it may be, but, uh, but he, he needs to improve as a passer this year. The, the best way I, I can frame it is this. We all saw Patrick Mahomes go against Josh Allen in the playoffs, right? We saw them go back and forth. Now it's yep. hard to find a, a, a Patrick Mahomes and it's hard to find a Josh mm -hmm. Allen, right? Uh, or, or we saw Matthew Stafford make that throw against the uh, Bucks, you know. In, in but what, what I, the calculus that the Eagles make is how can they get one of those quarterbacks? How can mm. they get a quarterback to win a game in late January? And maybe Jalen Hurts is that guy. Maybe he's not. But, but that's the barometer they're they're going to use. It's, it's, it's who can they win big with? Hey.